Welcome to Darian Donju Art. I'm using uh, the Ultimate Steve On brush, which I got from Gum Road. A friend of mine uh, sent me a recommendation for that brush for the sketching part of it. So once I've got kind of my circle and everything, there's a you, you draw a line through through the circle. It might be straight through the middle. It might be slanted up. So then what you do is we're going to draw the top eyelid, but it just, it ends up crossing that line, outer line of the, of the circle that you drew. So the, the bottom eyelid comes across and then meets up there, right at that same far corner. Then there's the kind of the crease of the upper eyelid. But that's going to curve across and that can that can go all the way across to that line that you made. The iris is two fourths or one half of the the distance here. So see, you've got there the sketch of the eye. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so the sketch is there, and now you, what you'll see is you see these reference photos. So I found these reference photos from Google. We're looking to make a convincingly painted eye, right? So we're moving to the painting stage and the idea is to get it to be convincing. We're not going for hyper-realistic. And part of the thinking behind that is that, um, you know, as I'm in a learning stage, I don't want to get too, too bogged down in making, trying to make things too, too perfect. For me, the fastest way that I learn is to do things over and over and over again. So rather than try to go for, for like perfection in one go, I'd rather kind of like solidify the steps and the workflow of getting there. And then, you know, once I get that workflow down and repeat that, it just, you know, hopefully I can get it to become sort of a muscle memory thing. So where some of the steps that I'm going to kind of go through, I, I might be able to skip later on once I've done this, you know, a hundred times. So over here, uh, the way I've got my layers set up, uh, I have them named. And the reason I have them kind of laid out with names is it helps kind of keep my workflow organized for me at, at the stage um, that I am, that I don't have this all trained into my head yet, right? So by me having these named layers, it lets me know what I need to do. Okay, so real quick, let's talk about the brush. So um, I, for painting, for sketching, as you saw, I was using uh, Steve Zahn, Ultimate Steve Zahn brush. And that's what I use for, um, for the, that's what I used for the sketch. But now that I'm in the painting mode, um, I'm going to Ahmed Adori's uh, brushes that he's created. Ahmed Adori is just amazing uh, as, as an, a digital painting artist and so he's got a number of brushes that he made available on Gumroad um, and so the one I'm gonna pick is this hard round 1021 um, and a number of tutorials that I've followed use are using similar brushes or talk about brushes that are for digital that painterly style you want to have like a hard brush 
Um, for many beginners, you could go with a soft round, but I'm gonna try to kind of just more so go with the painterly approach. And I'm sure that that'll make life a little more challenging for me, but it is the way that they say it's recommended. So I'd rather just go ahead and, and learn it that way. Um, the reason I have these references here too are so close by is it kind of like I keep kind of looking at them to see kind of what's really going on and you know they're different the different references remind me that you know it might be a little different on each of them All right, so now I've got this black line that's coming from the eyelash. So before I get into the reason I waited to do the eyelashes on this video is that the eyelashes, they kind of go over the painting. So I didn't want to sketch the eyelashes in just to paint over them. Yeah, so then you would just, yeah, you would work and work with all those things. But that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to stop this one here. Um, and that's also the advantage. I was just explaining the advantage of the layers and the fact that you're able to, like, you know, go back, tweak things, take things away. You know, you can go straight to your iris layer and it's there. You don't even have to remove your sketch because if you put your sketches in the right place, you cover them up completely with the paint. And if I turn off this sketch right now, it's really not going to make 
much of a difference, but it's nice to leave it in there because I can actually see a tiny bit of places where it might creep through. And, and sometimes it's nice to just let that creep through come in. Um, it's not hurting the overall image. But anyway, that's it for the eye. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you if you didn't know where this was coming from, start off with part one, which is just a sketch. It's a much quicker video. It shows you how to get all the things in position. And then on this one, if you noticed, because of the sketch, we didn't have to go searching for where stuff was because we already knew where everything was because of the sketch. So we could just focus on things like blending, color picking, uh, you know, what layers we're going to put the things on, and then really just rendering that. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. And... Um, I make videos every single day, day here at Dan Donju Art. Do make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, comment, all that stuff helps. You know, you don't have to give any money, but if you just give your participation, that helps build the community. And um, it definitely gives me a lot of encouragement to keep making these videos every single day. Come back here, there'll be a new video every single day. So I'm um, glad you were here and I'll see you tomorrow.